Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Dailies 2A News. So I got a really disturbing email from the Firearms Policy Coalition earlier today. If you guys are subscribed to their newsletter, you probably got it too. If you're not subscribed to their newsletter, definitely go do that and become a member while you're there. It's a really important group. They're actually doing things to fight for our Second Amendment rights. They're not just saying one thing and then doing another. They're actually out there fighting for them. So this is a really disturbing story in which the ATF and the FBI are looking to access our bank records and our financial records in order to gain information about those of us who buy certain products, Second Amendment products, shall we say. So this is something that I think a lot of people should be at least paying attention to, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about it. So let's get to it. Now, I'm going to start off by reading the very first paragraph from the article that FPC has over at their website, which explains everything that's going on here. I'll put a link to the full article down below, but I think that the first paragraph pretty much summarizes what they're trying to do. We'll give you guys a basic understanding of what they're trying to do. So let me go ahead and do that. House Bill 5764, sponsored by Representative Madeline Dean, Democrat out of Pennsylvania, has been introduced, and it's another government overreach. Along with its companion bill in the U.S. Senate, Senate Bill 3117, sponsored by Ed Marquis, Democrat, Massachusetts, the Gun Violence Prevention Through Financial Intelligence Act of 2021 aims to require financial institutions to turn over information on firearms and accessory purchases to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, which is the FNCEN, for developing an advisory about identification and reporting of suspicious activity. So let me go and break this down a little bit more for you. What they're trying to do is to peer into your financial transactions so that they can gather that information about stuff you bought and use that through an advisory board to determine how people become a certain way, whether they're gonna become an extremist or not. And so they think by peering into your financial transactions and trying to figure out who's buying what, when they're buying it, how much, from where, and being able to track that through your financial statements, they're gonna be able to determine who and how bad people are getting a hold of stuff that they probably shouldn't. Now, the first thing I noticed between these two bills is that they're just almost perfectly written to be abused. These two bills are written in a way that doesn't really explain who they're trying to go after. It seems like a lot of other bills that are out there these days that seem to be punishing the good guy so that then they can apply things later on to somebody who does something bad. But in the meantime, it's the good guy that gets punished. And that's kind of the same thing here. They're going after your financial records, your financial transactions, and they're trying to learn your behaviors and your patterns uh, through their you know, financial network uh, in order to then apply it to some case that might come down later down the road. So something that hasn't even happened yet, they're trying to get your financial records and understand your transactions and, and how and why in, in order to apply it to something later on. Uh, I mean, th here's the thing. Number one, if this goes through, they're granted access to your financial records. What else is in your financial records? It, it might be something that's completely untied to what they're looking for, but that's in there. You have a certain right to privacy, and one of those things is your financial privacy. You have a right to privacy, just like what uh, Janet Yellen is trying to do right now, which is you know try and peer into everybody's bank accounts who you know deposits more than six hundred dollars. This is something very similar to that. They seem to be using the banks now in order to gather information about people, which is you know completely illegal. It's it's unconstitutional altogether. So again, they're trying to peer into your financial records in order to find out what else they can tax. They're trying to peer in your financial records now to add you to some type of database for the purpose of, of learning more about certain people that you're not involved with. I mean, this is getting absolutely ridiculous. Now, it's gotten absolutely ridiculous a long time ago, but it's just getting worse and worse. So these two companion bills right here need to be stopped before they go any further. They were just introduced so far, but they need to be overturned completely. There was something similar to this that went through uh, a while back, and that was eventually shut down, and that one didn't go through. And the same needs to happen with this. They need to stay out of our financial transactions. It's none of their business. So anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that that exists, and those two bills are are now introduced into the House and the Senate. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.